fill in the blanks questions are very useful. But the built-in close question type in Moodle is so complex that many people give up trying to use it. So I've created an, an alternative question type. I call it the gap fill question type. And I think it's very easy to use. I also think it's quite pretty, as you can see from this display of when a student has answered a question. So I'm now going to see if I can get you to memorize all you need to know in order to create gap fill questions. Are you ready? It's a single seven word sentence. Put square braces around the missing words. Have you got that? So put square braces around the missing words means if you have a sentence, the cat sat on the mat, and you put square braces around cat and mat, they will appear as gaps for the students to put the answer in. You can also have it displayed as drag drop downs or drag drops with the clues to be dragged into the gaps. It's got lots of uh, features, regular expressions, mobile device support, multiple correct answers, valid blank gaps, fixed gap size, case sensitive or not case sensitive, understanding accents, no duplicates mode. But all you need to get started is put square braces around the missing words. And if you're a mathematician or a scientist, don't worry, you can choose alternative delimiters. They don't have to be square braces. They could be squiggly braces or whatever you choose. I'm going to create a gap fill question from scratch. Like with all questions, you have to give it a name. Put in the question text, put square braces around the missing words, in this case, cat and mat. Put in some distractors, things that will appear that are incorrect answers, which is particularly useful if you're using drag and drop or drop downs mode. And then to preview the question, so I'm going to drag a correct answer in there and an incorrect answer into there. Check it, and if you select that option, where you enter an incorrect answer, it will show the correct answer next to it, as you can see there in green. If you like what you see, you can download this question type from the Moodle.org plugins database.